Welcome back, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. A flood advisory is in effect until 1045 for this green shaded area. This is basically for the southern Blue Ridge, including parts of Franklin, Floyd, Patrick, Carroll, and Grayson counties. This does include areas around Hillsville, Galax, Royal Fork, Floyd, and Stewart. Now, as far as what the radar picture looks like in this area where the flood advisory is, that's where the heaviest rain has been here for the last 30 to 45 minutes. Raining heavily in Rocky Mount, Floyd, Hillsville, Withville, Independence. Among the roads impacted I-81, I-77, Highway 52, Highway 58. As we do some zooms further showing some roads impacted Snake Creek Road, Greenberry Road, the Blue Ridge Parkway, Cavalier Drive. Again, this is Hillsville. This is Fancy Gap. Here's I-77. So some very heavy rain being reported right now in parts of Carroll and Floyd County. So we're looking at rainfall rates in excess of perhaps a quarter of an inch to half an inch per hour. Rain becomes a little bit lighter the farther north you go, but this rain is moving to the north. So what's going to happen is this heavier rain out across parts of the New River Valley will eventually lift to the north, impacting you folks in the Roanoke Valley eventually for you folks up towards the highlands and southern Shenandoah over the next couple of hours. So here we go. Seven o'clock. There will be some bouts of moderate to heavy rain. We are looking at 10 o'clock now and may start to see things maybe not as wet towards the Mountain Empire, New River Valley at that point. While it's still likely to be pretty wet across the southern Shenandoah and also our areas in and around Lynchburg. This is around one, two o'clock in the morning, and that's when we could get a break in some areas. But look what happens by daybreak tomorrow. More rain starts to redevelop, and tomorrow will be a day where we still have the chance for some off and on showers as we're going to have a couple of waves of energy pushing through here as we head over the next 24 hours or so. Look what happens by dinner time tomorrow. The rain changes over to snow showers in the mountains of West Virginia. There could be a small spill over towards the highlands and also towards the New River Valley and Mountain Empire as we head into Friday night and Saturday morning as well. But uh, as those snow showers come to an end on Saturday, look what happens. Skies also start to clear and we should see more sun as we head into Saturday. As far as how much rain we get here, one to three inches of rain, I think is a pretty safe bet at this point. Uh, again, we are looking at the possibility for some flooded roads. We are also looking at the possibility for some river level flooding. OK, so what we're watching here is mainly the Dan River right now. Nothing to worry about, but they are expected to get into minor flood stage here over the next couple of days. Expected to crest into the Dan River at Danville, say Friday evening in Paces, say Saturday afternoon. Expected to crest in South Boston Sunday morning. As far as snow is concerned, we're going to see anywhere from maybe a coating to four inches of snow towards the west slopes of West Virginia. And again, even White Top could pick up a coating to two inches of snow with some snowflakes even flying farther to the west. It's uh, Pretty chilly out there. 42 right now in Martinsville, also in Lynchburg. 44 in Blacksburg. Temperatures much warmer to the south. We're going to tap into some of this warmth here overnight tonight. Temperatures actually go up tonight. By the time we awaken in the morning, it's going to be much warmer than it is outside right now. Actual lows tonight in the 40s, but we're going to see those temperatures rising as the rain decreases a little bit later tonight, only to redevelop tomorrow with more off and on showers. Highs tomorrow mainly in the 50s to near 60. Saturday looks pretty dry. Sunday's pretty dry during the day. At night may have a few mountain rain and or snow showers Christmas Eve Christmas Day. We're keeping dry right now. Highs in the upper 40s to near 50 with another pretty good chance for some rain come next Thursday.